There they are. This is brilliant. This must be what the spirit meant. Excellent find. From what I can see, this is an ancillary station. Likely a scouting post for the larger structure to the east. What can it tell us about where Inquisitor Ameridan went? Hmm. Huh. What is this? This is Tevinter. From well before the last Inquisitor's time. I understand they use such tiles as locks. Interesting, though not likely related to Ameridan. Huh. Okay. I got Professor Kenrick here safely. The rest is up to you. <laughs> Lady Harding was quite nimble in the wilderness. I'll be watching to make sure the Hackenites don't come back. I believe that shape relates to the tiles. If you could replicate the shape in the tiles, something would happen. Huh. Oh, I see what this is. One of these kinds of puzzles. Oh, man. I remember this from uh, Mark of the Assassin. Ugh. This puzzle. Oh, man. A floor puzzle. So, I have to have all these off and that one in the middle lit to open that door. I have to have all the other ones lit up and that one off to get in there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this one cycles back and forth between these three here. This one. Ah, okay. Cycles back and forth between those four. Okay. What about this one? These three. What about this one? Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. So that affects these three corners. Okay, this one. Hmm. So the corner ones affect the the one in the corner and the and the two next to them. Okay. Hmm. The one in the middle. Okay. Oh boy, this is this is something that could take me quite a while. Oh man. I can see where this is going. Yeah, this could take me a while, guys. Oh. Ah, oh, see. Oh man. Ah. Oh. Reliant on a puzzle. Oh, good lord. Figure out the puzzle in order to be able to actually progress to the two new areas. Yeah, this is exciting it to watch, isn't it? This is something I would try and do off camera. So you guys don't have to watch this because as far as I'm concerned, this is a boring part. Oh, boy. 
Uh. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I can do for this video. Because otherwise I may have to just see if I can find this, the, like the, the pattern to solve this puzzle. So I don't waste both my time and your time watching this video. So, oh man. Uh, you know what? Why don't we uh, go see if we can take care of this. Let's head back to Skyhold and give Cole the amulet. This should lead to a very interesting quest. Okay, hold on a second. I remind myself what the name of that quest was. On a Meriden's Trail. Okay. So let's go see Cole. Actually, hold on a second. Sarah was never an agreeable girl. Her tongue tells tales of rebellion. Oh wait, no, I think that's that might be Cole. I'm like What's this question mark here? Or a exclamation point? Is that her? I don't think so. Cool. Yes. I've already asked him about that. Sutherland! Inquisitor. I... We have something for you. We've been saving and well... This is yours. It's payback. For all you invested. Plus extra. You know. Investment as such. We just wanted to say thanks. We never would have been anything without you. Okay. Hmm. I'm proud to have you. It's people like you who built the Inquisition. You're the heart of it. Glad to give it, Inquisitor. One condition. When you see us down the tavern, you're buying. Ha! If that's your will, Your Worship. Cool. I saw him just walking free. That was a decision of the world considered. After what he did, I know why he killed me. It started out helping, taking the fear away. I won't take too much. I am not that. I found the amulet that Solus told us about. Would you like to try it on? Yes, but not here. I like it here. We need some place that can go away if it becomes sharp. Huh. Okay. What do I do with it? You found one of the amulets. Yes. Excellent. Now tell us what to do, Solus. It is simple enough. You put it on, I charge it with magic, and you should be protected. Really? It's that simple? <laughs> Alright, if Cole is sure. Are you ready, Cole? They can't make me a monster. Ah! What was that? Oh, for... What are you doing to the kid? Oh, hi, Varric. blood mages from binding me like the demons at Adamant. But it didn't work. Something is interfering with the enchantment. Huh. Something like Cole not being a demon? Hmm. Maybe Varric is right. Solus, is it possible that the amulet doesn't work on Cole because he's too... human? Regardless of Cole's special circumstances, he remains a spirit. Yes, a spirit who is strangely like a person. I don't matter. Just lock away the parts of me that someone else could knot together to make me follow. Focus on the amulet. 
Tell me what you feel. Warm, soft blanket covering, but it catches tears. I'm the wrong shape. There's uh, something. There. That way. That way? <laughs> it's somewhere in that direction. Um, how far? I don't know, just somewhere in that direction. So you're saying it could literally be like what? On the other side of the planet. It's just that way, that's all I know. <laughs> we'll investigate. We'll find whatever is preventing the amulet from working, and we'll make it right. All right, kid. Get Colin and work with him on the map to figure out where you're sensing something wrong. Will you come with me? All of you? Yeah, sure. Sure. All right, I get it. You like spirits. But he came into this world to be a person. Let him be one. Hmm. I don't know. Uh... I mean, the, the thing I care about, it really is... I care about results. This sounds like the most neutral option. All I care about is making certain that the Venatori can't bind cold. Yeah, that's the bottom line here. Fair enough. But that ritual of theirs only works on demons, right? This is not some fanciful story, child of the stone. We cannot change our nature by wishing. You don't think? However we deal with the problem, our next step is to track down whatever is interfering with the enchantment. Interesting. What could it be, I wonder? Whoa! Okay, I guess we're off to wherever it was. It didn't even... <laughs> it didn't even let me have the option or anything. Nope, it's like, nope, we're gonna take you straight to where it is. It looks like we're going to, uh, Redcliffe. Is that w where the interference is coming from? Redcliffe? What could be in Redcliffe that could be interfering with, uh, Cole and the amulet? Yeah, this should get me through the month. Who's that? Give me a moment. Oh. Greetings. Can I help you? Um, who are you? You. Whoa! 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 whoa. Cole, what are you doing? You what? killed me? I don't. What? I don't even know you. You forgot. You locked me in the dungeon in the spire, and you forgot, and I died in the dark. Whoa! The spire. Cole, stop. Cole, could you Just please explain? Easy, he killed me. He killed me. That's why it doesn't work. He killed me, and I have to kill him back. Cole, wait. Before anyone gets killed, I need to know what's Please, going on. Please, explain. Cole, this man cannot have killed you. You are a spirit. You have not even possessed a body. A broken body, bloody, banged on the stone cell, guts gripping in the dark, dank. A captured apostate. Oh, that must they be what he's talking about. They the dungeon in the spire at Valroyo. They forgot about him. He starved to death. Is this his I body that you're help. using? And I couldn't. So I became him. Cole. Huh. If Cole was an apostate... That's why. I'd make the guy we just saw a Templar. Really? Must have been buying Lyrium. He didn't look like a Templar. Like, maybe he Let stopped being a Templar? kill him. I need to... I need to. No, Cole. I still don't understand. Before I decide anything, I need a clearer picture of what happened. It seems the real Cole was an apostate. 
Captured and taken to the Circle by Templars. Who aren't known for their gentle nature. As the young man starved to death in a dungeon, his pain caught the attention of a spirit. Likely one of compassion. Huh. Compassion? An uncommon spirit, certainly. And all too fragile when its efforts to help prove to be in vain. And then it be... I guess it... It took on his... His body after it, it's he starved to death? Solus, could you tell me what you think about this? Solus, Elaborate a bit? We cannot let Cole kill the man. I don't think anyone was going to suggest that, Chuckles. Cole is a spirit. The death of the real Cole wounded him, perverted him from his purpose. To regain that part of himself, he must forgive. Huh. Come on. You don't just forgive someone killing you. You don't. A spirit can. Beric? Beric? The kid's angry. He needs to work through it. A spirit does not work through emotions. It embodies them. But he isn't a spirit, is he? He made himself human. And humans change. They, they get hurt. And they heal. He needs to work it out like a person. You would alter the essence of what he is. He did that to himself when he left the Fade. I'm just helping him survive it. Huh. Cole will become more human. The amulet may not be necessary. Cole will become more like a spirit. The amulet should function properly. So, also... In order for him to become more human, he would have to kill that former Templar. But if he forgives him and spares his life, then becomes more like a spirit than a human, which is what he really is. Well, I don't want Cole to, to kill that guy. I mean, I understand why, but I'm actually with Solus on this one. Cole needs to let this go. I believe I can help. Cole, come with me. Sorry, Varric, but I think this is actually for the best. Whoa! Teleported like Nightcrawler. Not possible. Not possible. I think he now recognizes who that is. That he now remembers that mage. Can you feel this man's pain, Cole? He remembers now. He knows he killed me. He no. killed Cole, not feel his you. Pain. His guilt. The shame that drove him from the Templars. That's why he doesn't look like a Templar. He, he left. I will erase his records. They clap me on the shoulder. Smell of oiled metal and blood. They smile like Louis did when he made me drown the kittens. Laughter bounces off the walls like a thin child's fist. Sorry. I'm so sorry. See? He's hurting, Cole. He regrets you it. You are a spirit. Of compassion. He didn't want to do it. Forget. He forgave him and made him forget about it. Forget what happened. So he could stop being in pain. I believe we are finished here. So according to Solus, the amulet should work now. You alright, kid? Whoa, yes. look at the amulet. He's free. We're both free. Huh, he says he's free. So now he can't be binded. Or bound, I should say. Binded. I don't think that's a right that's an actual word. Huh! Look at Scott Harding's card. It's, there's no card there. You see that? That's kinda funny. Ah, hero of Ferelden, yes. So what happens now? Are we done with this quest with Cole, or is there more to it? I'm guessing we can go talk to him. He has to be working. Cole should be adequately protected. Have you talked to him since? Have you heard what he sounds like? He sounds like a spirit. No oh, speaking of which... At the end. Just need to hear the song again, just for a minute. I'm all right, Varric. Huh. Are you happy, Cole? What matters is his happiness. 
Cole, how are you feeling? I am well. There is work, wounded to help, hurts to heal, but the weight is off. The old chains have fallen. Huh. You're not still angry with the man who hurt you? No, I helped him forget. His pain no longer pulls at me. There we go. A woman with two nice. names slips a knife in darkness to her left hand. Honey stirred into Leliana's wine. Faith, not revenge. Whoa, what was that about? In a person. Possibly. Would that have made him happier, Child of the Stone? His name is Varric Solas. You don't need to call him Child of the Stone, okay? Whoa, I didn't even notice this before. Look at this. Wow. Is that like some tome? That's kind of cool if it is. Alright, I think Liliana's operation is over now. Varric? Inquisitor. Need something? Or are you just here to admire the dwarf? Um, I'm a dwarf too, Varric, so... Don't... Don't get too carried away, alright? Solus wasn't there. Is he on the map? Says he's there, but he, I didn't see him in there, in that room. Well, anyway. We gotta go talk to... We should go talk to Cole. First, let's check in at the war table. When I heard your agents would provide a distraction, I did not expect such a roaring fire. The confusion, the running about in circles, it was all very lively. Uh, of course, Lord Enzo and his Venatori were decidedly less lively at the end of it. Zevran, Aranai. Evading the crows, influence split pommel. Evading the crows. That sounds like an operation. Where is it, though? Ah, it's over here. My friends, I didn't... Oh, I did enjoy our little venture. And I hate to be a bother, but I believe that you owe me a favor. After all, Lord Enzo is quite dead. As you may recall, the crows and I are not on the best of terms. They were not pleased I stole their target out from under them. It means they don't get paid. They could have taken credit for my work, but I had already written to their employer. I earned the prize, after all. The crows would like to speak to me, as you can imagine. They've sent more of their number to Hercinia. It's time that I left the free marches. Zevran. So, let's see. As I was planning to, to, to Denerim, I could arrange for Zevran to be in her party. My agents could plant false leads for the crows. Or Zevran was helpful. We could send soldiers to sweep Persinia for any remaining inventory. If Zevran left with our men, it may go unnoticed. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I may wait and ha for Josephine to finish up. Let's have Liliana now get to work on that one. Actually, let me let me double check. The strain. What was the thing for the shaper? Okay, for the shaper. Let's see. It can be either Josephine or Liliana. We send ambassadors tomorrow to make the quest. The right gifts to the right people might expedite the process. Mission for information. Then I have reports on Carta activity. The king may find interesting. Ooh, on the Carta. The people I used to work with. Ooh. This only takes 18 minutes, so... Hmm. Well, knowing Balin, he would probably like that. So I'm going to go ahead and have Liliana do that. I'm not with the card anymore. I've left that life, so... As far as I'm concerned, I'm going to be more than happy to help out. Oh, only two more minutes, and then Josephine will be done with that. Well... While we wait for Josephine to finish up with that quest, why don't we go talk to Cole? And then once we're done talking to Cole, she'll probably be done, and then I can send Josephine on another on another operation. Speaking of which, is there anything I can talk to her about? Yes. Nope, nothing. By the way, I I think I may have figured out uh, 
something to help me unlock both of those doors. So, and I will try and do that off camera, so by the time that we get to the next video, I will have unlocked both of those doors, and then we can just explore the rest of the area, so you guys don't have to sit there watching me solve how to open the doors. She hurts, but helping hurts more. She sees the strings that pull me, eyes like raisins in a stale cookie. Huh. You're more of a spirit now. May I ask how things are, now that you're more of a spirit? Questions can be shackles, but you kept me in kindness. I will answer. Okay. Tell me about what happened at the spire. Can you tell me more about what happened at the spire? You and the real Cole. I don't remember. I let that go. It isn't part of me anymore. Okay. Uh, what about the Fade? Can you tell me more about the Fade, now that you're more connected to it? It is here, but held. Constrained by a construct, veiled, feelings, memories, minds, mortality, all shape it. A glass to hold water, we flow to the deep. Without you, we have nothing, not even us. That's why we want so much. Okay, how do you feel now? What is it like to be this way? I'm me. More me than I was. Huh, there we I go. I can care and comfort, but keep clean. No shackles. They feel, forgive, forget, and I am free. Finally. Thank you. I have yet to uh, really uh, work on one of my other characters that I have. Because, uh, as usual with these Bioware games, not just with, uh, you know... You know, with some of the other games, like, I've played through the Mass Effect games, not both Paragon and Renegade, and I've played through Dragon Age Origins and 2, both uh, with the aggressive and uh, kind of, uh, you know, I guess aggressive is the only proper word for it, uh, choices and path. You know, there's not really an evil path, so to speak. It's more just a, either a kinder or a aggressive. You know, and I've yet to do that completely with this game uh do the aggressive choices where so i have yet to see what happens if you actually side with uh varic and have him become more human rather than more of a spirit so uh i'm not really sure how that goes so but uh it's something that does interest me about uh playing through this as a different character um with the more aggressive choices and uh boy i'll tell you what i've heard that uh playing through this game but with a very bad world state like having made all those aggressive choices uh, from the first two games, and then do the same thing in this one. It's pretty interesting. So, can you still you kill? You don't mind killing people, even being more of a spirit? Monsters are easy, <laughs> mindless, menacing. It's harder when it's people. Spenatory, bandits. People who could change. So he can, he's but just saying it's, uh, yeah. They hurt people. We need to stop them. My blades are yours to command. Okay. I forget later, so it washes clean. Okay. I'll talk. And let me ask the other kid, thing. Kid, says the stone. Kid, kidding. It would keep me kept with a name, but the can can't catch Do you want to go somewhere? How would you like to get out of here? Maybe do something fun. I don't know. I've never tried. Huh. Come on. Yeah, let's go somewhere and chat, Cole. Oh, looks like I'm taking him to Val Royo. Now this should be interesting. I've also heard that on certain quests, taking coal around uh, can provide some very interesting dialogue. That, uh, especially in certain conversations, that he can actually tell you what someone is thinking. The person that you're talking to. And I've heard that can be very insightful. Very interesting. Which is why, even a game this size, the replayability, huge, huge you replayability. Honor us with your presence. Will you be dining alone, your worship? Or will others be arriving later? Well, do you not see this guy right here? Huh. <laughs> Uh, he's like, oh, so I am. Because he's like, what? Cole, where'd you go? I might not be alone. I may have a friend joining me. Very good, your worship. Right this way, please. 
We're at a fancy restaurant. Right over here, Inquisitor. Yours. We don't have a reservation, but we have Please a table reserved for you. This evening, your uh, wait there. Wait there. You can tell her. She'll laugh and then do it because she loves you. <laughs> she wants to make you happy. Whoa. <laughs> He's like, how'd you know about that? <laughs> that sounds intriguing. <laughs> he needed help? You saw something in him that needed a word of encouragement? He wants his wife to tie his hands to the bedpost. Whoa! Silk ribbons. He worries she'll hate Oh him. my, Cole, that's, uh, that's a little more information than I want. <laughs> she said it because she was jealous of your shoes. Remember his hand on your waist as the music... Started. Now he's doing this to random people in the restaurant. <laughs> Just telling them things, it's like, wait, what? <laughs> so many little hurts, even here. Away from blood and battle. I wouldn't have heard them before. Now I can, thanks to you. Oh no, what have I done? <laughs> and that helps? So you help them with a few whispered words? The right words. Plus what I am. A little of me making the happiness stronger, so the pain fades. Huh. I don't steal the pain. The nightmare demon at Adamant did that. It made them less so it could grow. I help them heal. They never need to know I was here. You've made me better. Huh. I'm glad to help. It was my pleasure. Remember old Maurice. Too proud to forgive. Gnarled hands clutching the back of an empty chair. Find another path. Now he's doing it more so than ever. With more people. They're, they're just like, what the? Who the heck was, was that? Someone, what was he talking about? <laughs> he was my friend, but he didn't know what I was. When he found out, he changed. I lost him. Oh, someone that the real Cole knew? You found out, but you didn't change. Didn't make me change. You let me be this, be more. Thank you for helping me find this again. For believing in me. You don't know what it means. Huh. I know enough. I have an inkling, and you're welcome. You don't need to. It used to help, but it doesn't anymore. I love how he just teleports, like, like just straight up, like Nightcrawler Trying to from the X-Men. was strong. Find him. Tell him you're sorry. Choo! The woman in the red dress thinks you would look good naked. Oh my gosh! Want someone to compliment her hat. <laughs> wow. They will never know, but I know. Thanks to you. I'm just sitting there just watching him just do this. Just teleport from person to person, telling them all these things. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not even doing anything about it. I'm just, like, sitting there just, like, laying back. Just like, ah, I'll just let him get to work. I'll just let him do his thing. I'll just sit back here and enjoy the show. <laughs> He's, like, the ultimate therapist. He'll tell tell you things that you're th that uh, that you're thinking that or that you need to hear. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else I can talk to Cole about? He sounds new. Echoes nope. Of love Never mind. An empty... Okay. So, looks like we may be done with uh, Cole's quest. Our hero and as far as I can see, there was. Yep, I'm done with all the inner circle quests that I had gotten up to that point. There's a. There's some exclamation point here, but I don't know what it is. Oh, is it her? Inquisitor, a title hard to rhyme. A challenge for another day, I think. Forgive me my distractions, Eminence. I'm overwhelmed by you and what you've done. My name is Merida, a humble bard. How can I help? What do you bring to the Inquisition? A simple thing that you know well. The power of a muse to rally hearts and minds. Inquisitor, I want to spread the word of what you've done. A small but vital role. Perhaps I'll also make a coin or two. Huh, <laughs> you're a bard? Are you a bard, like those of Orlais? Oh, heavens no. <laughs> I'm a minstrel first. My weapon is a cutting tongue, not lace. Oh my, what a weapon! I hope my skills will help in some small way 
If only I can give your deeds their due. Oh, shucks. Carry on, then. Oh, I will do my best, Inquisitor. I'm so flattered. Hmm. It's not this guy, is it? Inquisitor. Uh, know any rumors? What's the word out there? Quiet. Too quiet. No, wait. Just quiet enough. Huh. As you were. Inquisitor. What is this exclamation point? Oh, it is her, but... Wait, what? Just rumors. There is an issue that you should address. Oh, okay. I just had to talk to her again. Fine, Inquisitor. Oh, so it was an operation. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, I'm so glad I talked to her again. That was bugging me. I was like, what is that exclamation point there? Well, I'm on my way back to the war table anyway, so that's that works out perfectly. So let's see what this uh, operation is that she just gave me. That our minstrel just gave me. Alright, let's take a look. First off. Uh, your help arrived just in time. My sisters and I have seen the soldiers safely to Ferelden. I cannot express what this means to all of us. Maker's blessings upon you and our rescuers. Thanks from a Chantry sister. Maker's bride cameo. What? Oh, five minutes and that'll be done. Stop the rumors. From far off Monsimad, a songstress comes with lies and thoughtless gibes insults our name. I hated her in school. She pulled my hair. We must not let her make these vulgar claims. <laughs> uh, a minstrel with no tongue can tell no lies. Whoa, Eliana, that sounds a, l a little, uh, little excessive. Josephine, our allies' words will turn the tide for us. No, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Colin just like, no, no, I'm not having this. I'm not a part of, I'm not, I do, I do not want to hear about this. Inquisitor Kadash, you may not remember me. I stayed at Skyhold for a time and later accompanied uh, some injured soldiers to Ferelden. Our journey was more perilous than expected. I only lived to write this thanks to the aid of the Inquisition. I have little to offer, but if I may help the Inquisition in some small way, you have only to ask. Sister Paulette. I could arrange to transfer Sister Paulette to the Chantry in Denerim. Having a reliable ally in the capital's Chantry could prove valuable. That's true. Sister Paulette showed bravery and kindness in staying with the injured soldiers. She has already done more than she was asked. Let her remain with her fellow sisters in peace. Some soldiers in Crestwood wish to establish a place of prayer at the keep. Sister Paulette could assist. Hmm. Oh, the choices, the choices, decisions, decisions. Hmm. Still not really sure what to make of that one. Over here, what was it? Oh, that's right, this one. A golden opportunity. 31 minutes, she's the only one that can do this. So, maybe I'll just have her take care of this. Since it, only, since it won't take that long. And then, at some point, oh, evading the crows. That's right, I forgot, almost forgot about this one. Nah, I don't want Colin to do that one. I'd like, I'd like Lilian to do that one. I think I want to... Uh... I actually would want Lilian to do this one. It's like some I prefer Liliana, some I prefer Josephine. I mean, unless you're going the aggressive route as I talked about earlier. Uh, Cullen's ways are like, no, that's a little too much, Cullen. Hmm. Less than just about two minutes left. <gasps> no, this is ridiculous. That's funny. I would want Josephine to do that one, too. Oh, choices, choices, choices. All right, well... When we come back, I will have opened both of those doors at the ruin. <laughs> and uh, maybe I'll have done a couple other things with the operations once they're done.
or at least just one of them since uh, one of them is about to end. Stay tuned!